Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones. Well, we are continuing as House Seadrake, led by Magister Valerian. Turns out I cannot make him a king, as it's not actually a feudalism thing. Uh, First Magister is actually a feudal title. However, it's actually the culture which is making it First Magister. So we are staying a First Magister. Before we begin, I want to go over a few things. Number one. Thank you for all your support on this series so far. I'm loving making it, and we're going to keep making it. I do actually have plans to do some other series alongside this one. Uh, possibly uh, using the new Bookmark mod, I'm considering doing one about uh, Aegon's Conquest, in which, uh, thanks to COW, uh, Cities of Wonder, you can actually build up King's Landing, which sounds an absolutely fun time. Like, building up Harrenhal is one thing, but building up King's Landing would be even better in CK3 with a, a model that actually builds up as it goes. So that's going to be absolutely something to do. Uh, so, the other thing is that if you can hear some audio problems, or you can hear a noise or two in the background, it's because it is a fan, because it is super, super hot in the UK at the moment. And I will boil if I don't always have a fan on, <laughs> because it is. Americans will say this doesn't get this hot. We have no, we, you know, we're a very different climate to America, so it's hot for us. So, our big hope is to declare war once this truce ends, and push the claims we have to secure, at last, the city itself of Pentos, and then maybe say that it's make this into a castle rather than city holding. We'll discuss that later. But of course, we also have our southern capital still of Drake's Bay, which is earning 10 coin a month. It is a very, very wealthy, wealthy place. Although this plague is definitely causing problems here. Um, and I would very much like it to pass and to upgrade this castle holding. But I can't do that until the culture changes, because Pentoshi culture sucks, whereas Valyrian culture is far more ahead. I could get this up to like level 5 if this was Valyrian culture instead. And then we can spend money upgrading Windpipe, because I will this stuff down here. Right now, our only place in the city proper is the Palace of Prosperity, but this is a pretty damn good as well. So we have two years left on our truce, but we're 76 years old. I don't know if we're going to make it to 80 or even beyond 80, is the problem, especially now we have Lover's Pot. We are, we are poor. You know, poor health. How could get even worse, especially with a plague actively driving through our lands? No. Seeing no signs that this is a plague that's going to pass at all. The Pentoshi boils is minor, but it's only it's only began recently. It's just spread very, very quick. Oh, it's my wife. I had another son. Damien C. Drake. Interesting. At my age, having another kid. Uh, put on stewardship focus. Yeah, my maester is trying to control plagues. So hopefully he can actually do that. Because these plagues are a problem. Oh, oh up there. Claim on this one as well now. So if I did the clever war, I would get the whole city and that little island. So we would basically have full control up to this region up here. And then this up here would just be Andalos. Because that's what this area is naturally called when they don't have Pentos. Although I'll probably have to save it and change the name perhaps. Because I imagine they themselves will keep the name Pentos even without the city. See, there, there is a kingdom of Andalus up here, but it's actually technically a separate kingdom. Let's see what I can do to make them actually form this kingdom. And obviously the Empire title is the Empire Pentos. Which requires both uh, Pentos and Andalus.
In the Prince's Quarter, it just shows you how wealthy Pentos is. We're running way more from the Prince's Quarter than we are from any of our other cities. It's because of the Prince's Palace. Oh dear. Being overwhelmed by stress because of my age. Let's go on a ride. Try and calm myself down a bit. And then this one has a Magister's Harbour. Which was equally good. That's actually maybe even better because of the tax. What does this give alongside tax? Yeah, this is arguably a better one. Higher tax and the monthly income. Pure monthly income. Oh my goodness, holding these two is pure, pure wealth. If I combine those with um, Mandible and Drake Spade, that's like infinite money. <laughs> Yeah, when you get lovers pops, it's gross. Unlike me, when I get out, it's cool. Because I'm a king. 27 per month at the moment. Maybe a quartzsmith? You know, they'd be average. Average, average. I've not had anyone come into my real court in a little bit. I would love if I could get someone in here. So, so, so. In fact, let's. I don't know why I'm not just max these out, because it's a, a little expensive, but I can afford basically anything. And we do want these super high. And I would rather have a warlike court that uses Valyrian tongue. Because Valyrians are the ones who hold high offices here. I mean, even he's. Oh no, he's Mirish. Is he the only. Oh, and he's Pentoshi, so. The ones that are my cousins are. My. Like sons and grandsons are uh, obviously Valyrian, and then they have Valyrians. Oh no, I thought I've landed Valyrians beneath them. Apparently not. We do with clearing up a lot of the Pentossi at least, though. Act of tyranny. Be smart. Yeah, we'll let keep it for now. Sons of the Andal. Well, good on you, Daveron of the Stars. Well, I'm Valerian the Poet. Longer is on our truth. Twelve months. My wife is pregnant. My concubine is pregnant now. I'm 77 years old, by the way. 77 years old. Surely that's... at least a little bit impressive. Spend on... Spend on the mandible, maybe. I'll get this just because it's holding tax increase. I do want to save up to actually upgrade. Um, not these, sorry, the, the Palace of Prosperity I can upgrade. Get better fort level, better levies. And then getting this would get Arch Maintenance done, which is also great. It's great what you can do when you just have infinite money compared to Westeros where even I'm probably earning more than the Lannisters. At, well, the Lannisters have minus a thousand gold, so I'm definitely earning Lannisters. I'm mourning more than they do naturally. And far more than the Reigns. Come on, be incredible. Why is everyone's skill merely decent? Where's all of the good armor smiths gone? Where are all the armor smiths? Do a grand tour. Do a taxation tour. Thumbs. I 
see who's going to pay. Will all my loyal, wonderful sons pay me? I keep stealing from me. I did this so I could steal from other people and call it tax. It's totally different. Uh, let's try and make them realize it was a misunderstanding. Let's all drink together. It's really good to use because you get development as well. Another spy. So many spies in my court. Am I getting fat? Bean might get. You got fat. I'm not going to risk my health. But I'm so close. Daenerys, another daughter. Only like four months left, right? Yeah. Five months. So we can maybe do this war. It's incredible. He, he's almost living out of pure spite. And also just to refuse his son from taking. His son's 49 now. His son's nearly 50. And yet still... Hasn't, um... Foxtail. Sell it for scraps. <laughs> That's not that good. He wants. I mean, um. You just paid me. No. Your goal kind of sucked. That's our defeated. We are, we've arrived at the baked plants. What a wonderful outfit you wear. Daren of the stars. My, even my, my son, my heir's heir, Hagen, is already 32 years old. His son's about to be a man. My great grandson's about to be a man. What madness. Reveal back up. Pet bulk. Hold fast. Aromatic fool! Your son's plotting against me now, is he? Yeah, the time draws closer and closer. Come on, be a good, be good at it. Oh, legendary, yes. Go make me a wonderful dagger. He refused tribute. You have a plaza 100 relation to me and you could afford it. Why would you? I could take away all of your like titles for this. I'm not sure why you'd want that. That just seems like a foolish idea to me. Now this one's going to be interesting because he's from Toshi, so there's a good chance he would just refuse. I, don't, I mean, he could have just refused me at the gate, which would have been interesting. But, you know, technically within his right. Well, not within his right. You know, I would have imprisoned him for it. But... My Mormina wouldn't have surprised me. Go 
going to give me the option to visit the Flatlands. This guy sucks. Oh my goodness. Look at him. He must be... Oh no, he's, he's fine even though he's got an impending doom apparently. Hey, that could be fun if we can get that to work. If I'm alive, I can hire some extra mercenaries for this war, although I shouldn't need them. Yeah, become my friend after you ignored paying my taxes, you dickhead. I just feel weird I can go to the field ends. I feel like it would have been... So he gave in. I feel like it would have been really easy to get to the fieldlands from or the flatlands. You just go up to the flatlands, then back down to the Bakelands. Or even you could just go from the Bakelands up to the flatlands, and then up to Hino's Boris, and then down to Watcher's Bay. Finish my grand tour. And immediately. It seems like it's, it will let me take everything but Pentos itself. Which feels weird because I'm an outside power. Why can't I take Pentos itself? I have a claim on Pentos, don't I? Yeah, I have a claim on Pentos, but it won't let me take Pentos. Okay, I may step in here and I may... Because I'm going to have to do some save edits anyway. And I know people don't like saving it's for CK3. However, I think it's fair to give myself Pentos if I'm fighting a war for this because I should be getting Pentos and it's kind of stupid. I can't claim a Republican down because I'm a kingdom. Like, I'm fighting a war. If there's going to be negative consequences, make me face it in another way. Like, if Mir and Tarosh and Lys and the Iron Throne hate me for it, they hate me for it. But I should still be able to go for it. I guess the only other way, the way you're meant to do it is by dissolving Pentos. But that... Dissolving kingdoms is such a difficult thing to do. Or, sorry, dissolving republican kingdoms is almost difficult and uh, impossible to do. So I will say that we will. I must give us that thing. I, I, what I am going to do is I'm going to march all the way from down south, though. I don't want to give myself the easy thing of marching from up north. I think it'd be more fun. I've got to come all the way. The event, but honestly, I don't think I'll need them. Is he my best commander? Yes, he is. Right, it's much depends us. And see their armies? Are they not raising? But there they are. Balsa for my son and heir, Melis, has passed away. Wow. He's lost his son now. He's our wife now. Oh, I see. He's just going to take the Palace of Prosperity. And he's probably going to take it before I can even get near. Oh no, he's definitely taking it before I can get near. Yeah, it's level 1, I guess, so it just doesn't have any... Yorko! Why would I care about this guy's legend? They'll be they'll be promoting my legend one day. Let's reclaim the palace of prosperity. Okay. Armor's already gonna suck. Now why are you making it suck more? Reclaim, but they can take well yeah, not if they want. I just want to reclaim some control here. He's really just going to keep running. I have to take out his army before I do a siege. Just because he's going to be too much of a problem if I don't. Okay, we landed in a place where we have at least the base advantages in our favour. Armour. Not great, but it it's armour nonetheless. 
I'm going to need to call in my ally, so I'm not going to. Um, pick their banner. We'll happily do that. And I will siege the city. He's refusing to marry the Lord of Lys. We'll do as I come on and marry Loras Tyrell. I feel like I've made that joke a hundred times in my video. Just a very iconic line. What can I say? It took a while to repair a lot of the damage here. Our men at arms looking like. I think after this war, we're going to buy more men at arms. Because we should have all of the money coming from Pentos that we can use to really spruce up our army. Why they're just doing this runabout like this? It's so odd. Actually, again. Oh, it's only blue quality. It's not that bad, though. You put this early star my royal court. Along with the Pentos War Banner. We love stealing things. Best part about war. Hmm. Interesting. We'll go for that one. Be down to about 6,000 now. We just keep basically, any time we come to battle, he loses more men than us, which is awful for him because we have the larger army to start with. Catch the army again. Go caught him in Pentos proper. Let's try and take the this city and then take the islands and that should be the war. So I feel like if I do attack the city it will cause some control damage here. But you know what, I'm going to have to fix the control anyway, aren't I? So I might as well just take these. I'm going to have control problems for a while but that's part of, you know, the, the story. I mean, you would have control problems trying to take these. All right, let's see if we can get a breakthrough on this siege. Otherwise, we're going to be waiting a long ass time. What I might do is. Split the army and catch them out. Fifteen years. I guess you must have taken the siege weapons somehow. Maybe maybe we just take Dario Ajon then. Because if this is gonna take a super long siege, then it may not be worth it. It's just my thinking. A multi year siege. I don't know, two years is more manageable. Wish we get a break. But you know, when I'm thinking he's now 80 years old, I don't want to go for an incredibly long siege here. That will ransom off the wealthiest of beings. He can barely even afford to pay for his own prisoners now. Okay, now I think I think we Two years is too long. I think we have to catch him and just unsiege what he's sieged. I just need to stop letting him siege me. That's what I need to be thinking of. I'm, I'm not. I'm not playing this war very smart. I think. I don't know how four thousand men is still enough to keep sieging on this scale. 
Like, you'd be, realistically, in a war, you'd be playing defensively with that few men, using whatever little advantages you can get your hands on. But they've... How have they taken back, like, 28% war score? It's a bit ridiculous. Because battles don't give anything to me, right? Occupied holdings. That's what is just absurd to me, that having his capital is giving me barely any occupiers war score here. He has no army left, right? Yeah. Let's get you working back over there. Then retake Olinos as well. Maybe this will put us back in the positives. Occupation. Land on the aisle. Four month siege is reasonably easy, it's not three year siege at least. How bad are my siege weapons then? I've got I've got you know like sixty magna uh, magnet nails I thought would be enough to siege, but I guess maybe these these palaces are just that large and keep it with the princely arbiter. Are you? Oh, you're the Trigo's mother. Then yeah, I'm glad I didn't promote your story. I don't want Trigo to have anything good in his life. <laughs> this guy's been an absolute pain that I've just stolen a bunch of money from and now I'm stealing a kingdom from. It's so weird that taking Pentos is just not really war score in this war. He has an army again? Why would he see sieging here? Is he in another war? No, he's just randomly sieging there. Unless that was the, that might have been the embarking. So where's he going through embarkation? That's where you want to go. Really. Okay, buddy. Sure. If we can wipe them again. Oh, plus 51 on this. Surely this is going to be a wipe again. There we go. Band our armies. And are they securing these? May or may not just quickly save it myself to give me Pentos and also put the capital somewhere reasonable for them. So we will quickly cut right back. Okay, there we have it. I had to do some finagling, but uh, it turns out the way that you're, you can do it in-game is if you usurp the duchy title, it will let you take Pentos. Uh, but Pentos itself is actually still a city, however, I'm still able to actually earn from it. So I'm not sure if this is a culture thing, but I'm, I'm hoping to keep it a city if it still actually functions for me. I mean, I'm still feudal, from what I can tell. Yeah, all the inheritance is still feudal, so that's fine. We'll just keep things as they are then. And earn some money by ransoming off some magisters. Table building. My primary title is not artisanal way. Oh, so I can't get mad the Magister's Harbour bonus because it has to be my primary title. That's for 25% income, whereas obviously down here I don't get anything for this being my primary title, so I can't even construct a building here. Interesting, interesting. Does Pentos give anything for a primary title? Actually, no. All I get is that every holding in a duchy has a fort level plus four and holding taxes plus 30, which is still pretty good. Sleep holding level three. And we're not too far. Oh no, we actually can upgrade, so we're going to upgrade this to level two. You can station men at arms in 
Cheesemongers and Max, which is insane. It's giving plus 102 additional damage to our already OP Dragon Knights. Oh! Did he die immediately after our war? He did! Drigo died. Which is more insane that I am... Like... 81 years old and I'm still kicking. I fully formed this kingdom. <laughs> In, the, in that amount of time. And now we have our southern capital and our northern capital, and that just feels exactly like what I wanted. Look at this, we have Pentos under our control. It's going to take some time to get the troops back and to get the controls up. If, like, Cheesemonger's Mads have zero control. Okay, it's getting a little bit of control, but not as much as obviously the palace is going to get from being able to actively handle control on it. Or I could declare war on Pentos again. Just, uh, apparently for the heck, of, for the hell of it. Why not? Their capital, for some reason, they chose here as their capital. I assume it's because it has a duchy title. Oh no! I guess it's just because the new guys inherited, and when he inherits, the title is whatever he already helped, and he already held that title. Because I think they actually had somewhere else set as their title. I guess when Trigo died, they lost it. I haven't given them Andalos yet, because they actually need to conquer this to be Andalos. So for now, they'll be Pentos. But over time, I'm sure they'll conquer up here, because they're definitely not conquering down here. They're getting nowhere near the Dragon's March. Learn on the job is a really good one, because it makes my stats absurdly high. Still surprised I'm still kicking this this long on. My son's got the widow train. I mean he already has heirs and kids, so that's fine. And obviously my family's big enough that House Sea Drake already has 32 living members. But the faction created against me. No, he says it's not created against me, it's actually created for me, technically. A loyalist faction. Which hey, I'll take. It's gonna take a year to get that did. Hmm. Is we just sit for a little bit and just enjoy our wealth. Enjoy our victory. All still done within Valerian's lifetime. The man is still alive and kicking after all this time. Gotta give it to him. Made my sword after my good friend. Uh, oh, sorry, the Elliot of Mir. You already know the handle. Oh, is there a civil war going? And then these guys are allied in the Liberty War? Interesting. This might actually be tough for him then. I think he might be outnumbered. Yeah, it looks like he's outnumbered in this. Oh no, but he's called in Daeron. So it's actually it's. Three duchies involved in one duchies liberty war. That is very interesting. Or is it two duchies? No, it's two duchies. They've also joined in to help him in the war, probably because he realized he was being out yeah, he's being outnumbered, so we called in Baylor as well. He's also involved in the Tarosh War against the Lease. In which Lease is losing pretty badly. Makes sense. I mean, Tarosh just has so much more power. Lisa's is pretty weak right now. 1.9 gold. That is absolutely low. We're earning plus six gold a month. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, we're earning 17, 9, 8.1, 10.9, 2.7, 2.7, 2.9. And then on top of all of that, we're earning our bonuses through 22% here and we're not even doing the collecting tax here to get even more because we want to develop the culture to upgrade um, Drake's Bay down here. But he's still 
quite absurd just how wealthy we're becoming. Pick this one because I don't want it to get worse. Okay, yeah, I would have lost the thing anyway. Wait, that was promote a legend, isn't it? Because I promote my own legend now? What the hell is the promote a legend thing? I'm going to do this as well, just to get it up. Let's do a bit of construction spree. Probably buy legends. Genuinely, I've cared so little about the mouse over here. No, it's still just this one's legends. Why can't I make my own legend? Oh, because I probably need a court chronicler. Try and find a legend, I don't. I mean, I'm earning 70 a month now. I probably afford some more men at arms at least. Uh, let's upgrade Dragon Knights, I think. We're going to start trickling money into a couple Dragon Knights. Because these guys are pretty unbeatable. I'll get some crossbow as well. Because Dragon Hunters are good, but I think crossbow men would just flat out be better still. Actually, no, I think Dragon Hunters are better. Go with that a little bit just to make sure it's the best possible quality. We actually, hold, we now basically directly control a, is it not a holy site? It's not a holy site. I really thought it would be. I was about to say we control a holy site for a lot, but apparently we don't. It's not a holy site, but we actually have here, like an actual temple of Relore, a high level one as well. A temple of the Lord of Light, Pentos, like, pretty notable one. That's why I'm surprised it isn't a, uh... That's not bad. It isn't higher. It should be level 10. Just give it time. All like court is always just good to have in general. Right, this is up to level 2 now. Better and better. The land of Hugo's Hill is the highest pious uh, of the highest pious value. From its soil is said to spring miraculous water, capable of curing all maladies. When a tearful, desperate, poor peasant requests an adornment with her, the pious Ferreira could not let if her please unattendedly quickly set out on an adventure. She was ambushed and harassed time and again by evildoers who sought to prevent her in her righteous quest. Time and again, however, the rightful Ferreira outwitted them escaped their clutches. She did not stop, for she went on with great bravery. She had worked tirelessly for all of Pentosri and fought the minions of the Great Other here on Earth. But at last, her struggles were at an end. Divine plan fulfilled. She lived a life of great honour and piety. And that gives us... It's not that bad, actually. Holding tax bonus. Combat is celebrated. Not bad. Let's get our maester in to try and deal with her. No, yet another plague. Too many, so many plagues. Especially in Essos. This one is the Mere Ones. Yeah, Cheesemonger's Mance up to a top, a high level as well. Seems like Cheesemonger's Mance is sort of the main... Pentoshi City, then. It has as many slots as Pentos itself. Or maybe Pentoshi Castle, I guess, is more my point. Whereas the Palace of Prosperity actually has as many. No, it does have as many, but it's, for some reason it was a lower level. Sun Student Vassal can get married. Good brother. An ugly good brother. He's got a lot of kids, it doesn't especially matter who he marries. I 
Rip the horse. Being of horses. We can get up to level 7 and still be earning 70 ammo. I think I want to get these to level 8. Yeah, and then we, we'll sit on those for a bit. And then we'll think about where we expand next. But either way, this is a very large men at arms army. Very, very large. We could probably, like, take on the Iron Throne with this sort of numbers. I just don't want to. <laughs> like, they have four... Yeah, they would still probably beat us, 40,000. Ours is a better quality, though, but still. Keep spreading this constant ill... Like, there's been far less illness up in Pentos than there has been here at the Mandible. Just constant illnesses down here. It's, it's been a real problem for us. Let's hope they don't last. So far we've been blessed with quite my, minor ones, but this Mirpox is apparently a major one. Not a full epidemic, but I mean we're getting development decline... We're getting possible supply limit loss as well. Not to mention the pox itself is a pretty awful pox to get. Maybe I should move to Mir. Oh, sorry, move, move to Pentos. Make my capital in Pentos just because I'd probably be in better health up there than I would be in Drake's Bay. See how we got death pits set up already. People being buried outside the city to stop the pox from spreading. Pentos is very weak now. Oh, I will be dead within a year. We knew this was coming. We knew this was, was inevitable. I mean, 80 years old is an astonishing age to make it to. What we should be more impressed with, I think, is how much has been achieved during his, his reign and his rule. Bishop with 23 diplomacy, 15 martial, 37 stewardship, 14 intrigue, 46 learning as well. This man is just... Not to mention starting from a duchy down here to a full ownership of the wealthiest kingdom that many have seen. Numbers keep going up on our, our wealth here, by the way. Up and up and up. They have different counters. Yeah, they also counter Ella. Ten. It does cost 50 when raised though, so I need to keep that in mind. I don't want to raise it too high. Because I always want to make profit while I'm raising it as well. I think we'll save up now and maybe do a grand tournament. Or if you, I believe we can do funeral events now, so maybe do a funeral event when Valerian dies. Or do a grand tournament to celebrate the ascension of Melis. Although, if we're being honest, I don't think Melis is going to be king for long. If I'm Hagen right now, I'm looking at pent those Pentoshi walls next to me and preparing to move in. If I'll take that off your hands. Bunch of different hides.
around you going up and up and up. Oh, maybe a chance for some legendary armor. That'd be wonderful. Gift for the next king. Aegon is still the rule. He's got cornrows for some reason, but he's still the ruler in Westeros. Struggling from consumption and the uncouth adulterer. His heir, Prince Aegon, an eccentric, lustful, and arbitrary man. With Baylor as his heir. So, at the very least, the succession of the Targaryens is pretty secure. They have quite a large family tree at the moment. Some Blackfires are still left? Interesting. How is there still Blackfires left? Because Malaris' son didn't die? Did he have another son? He did! He had Mena and then Aiken Blackfire, who's still alive. Hmm. I wonder if I could invite him to come join my court. No, he wouldn't want to. He's probably being held with the crowdlets. Oh, we've had our first cadet branch from C. Drake. Specifically, my grandson, who I gave the windpipe to. He's created Komen, which is like just drawn a line through a dragon with uh, wings. Or a uh, sea horse with wings, I was about to say. There we know. We knew it was going to happen. Let us get our council. Really hoping that you would give me the just that he needs to not have to give up any town. Okay, there's a chancellor. Promoting culture. We're only four years off being up to grade rate spare. Gonna have to give Dragon Speak away then. I'll be able to reclaim it eventually, but I didn't really want to have to give away Dragon Speak to anyone. It's unfortunate. Already we need to start looking at our own air, who's even worse. It's done directly inherited his beard, man. Well. And we will invite some captains, but that is where we will call it this episode. All well, these are going to be on zero because we need to, let them, you know, wait, give the month tip or let the month tip happen first before we end this episode. All courts to welcome in parishioners. Um, give anything to him. Definitely not going to be my champion of talent. Final beast. I just sing a feast. I should host a funeral first in Dragon's Mall. Father. The on month pick, these buildings should re-enable, and we'll see what our actual finances are like, because 36 is good, but it's... There we go, 50 seems more accurate. Look at that. Lots of wealth coming up. And people are on their way to this funeral. But that funeral shall begin our next episode, as we shall call it there. Thank you guys so much for watching.
Sorry if I seem at any point confused. I've had a headache plus or a migraine plus this heat is unbearable. Thank you so much. And yes, with our uh, city secured, now we can focus on our internal matters. What is next for House Sea Drake? That is for you guys to decide. Please uh, let me know what you guys are thinking. I'd love to hear it. But all of that to be determined in our next episode. I can't wait for you guys to join me on that adventure. Until then.